G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and our continuing Let's Play series here in Western Australia and we are on the West Australia map. Now, um, we are continuing on this uh, this lovely map by Deccan Kane um, who is hard at work doing some more updates to it so uh, that's very good to see and uh, hopefully we shall see that sooner rather than later. In any case, we've got some work to do. Uh, we still have our harvesters working i'll just bring up the map so you can see what's going on so over here on field four we have a hired hand running our cotton harvester he's bringing the cotton harvest on field four and we have a combine down here harvesting our what are we getting there barley i think it is yeah barley so he's got a big job there he's still in that field he's he's only done um if we just show there we've only done a couple of header rows and we're into the core of the actual field now so uh we've got a road train over here and a um overloading wagon to offload and we'll be going over there to help him shortly in the meantime though we need to head on over here and grab some cotton bales from uh from field four and then we're going to go down and sell them and we've got to go back down here as we said before down to glenvar hay trade uh, i think that's where we're going to sell our cotton bales let's just double check Yep, definitely down there at Glenvar. The price is going down, but it's not a bad price at the moment, so we might as well get in there and get that done as soon as we can. So without further ado, let's uh, get into it. So we're going to take the Kenworth K100 out. We're going to head on around and grab our auto-loading flatbed trailer. Then we're going to head over to Field 4, pick up our cotton bales, and then go for that, uh, that relatively long drive down to Glenvar and drop everything off. So first off, hope everyone is doing well. Uh, we are uh, getting back into it. We uh, we are having some trouble with course play. Too much to overcome, but uh, but certainly uh, stuff that we need to look at. And we're going to bring up the hut again. <clears throat> um, but yeah, so we are going through some things with with uh, course play. But for the moment, it is working okay. But you will notice when we're doing the header rows, it is a bit uh, wavery. Um, I firmly believe that once uh, Deccan Kane puts in MTA, if he does, uh, the multi-terrain angle, uh, that will uh, help smooth a lot of that out, which is good. All right. Well, here we go. We're going to head off out. Go in cab because it's a little quieter. Go. Head out to the main road. There's our overloader and our road train there in front of us. Traffic coming. Not a lot of traffic on these roads. More roos on the road than what there is cars and trucks. Let's make sure. And we're going to head on over here to a field of four. So, this map is... Uh, is a delight to play we got a lot of um straw to pick up on field 12. Um, that is certainly going to be a challenge but hopefully course play will do the right thing and we'll be able to set up either a baler um, or an overload wagon and just set set it and forget basically and uh, we'll set an offload uh, course as well so we can just dump it wherever we need to dump it but we'll get to that uh, sometime in the near future for now we just need to uh Report the operations in these two fields. We don't want to stretch ourselves too thin. We're going to look after field 4 and 12 for the moment as we head on in here. All right, here we go. As you can see, we've got three bales out there. You can see one coming on the other side of the mirror now. There's one, two over there on the left-hand side, and then one there virtually directly in front of us. Now, we're going to drive on the field and pick these up. Got to be careful not to drive over the cotton over there that hasn't been harvested yet. Uh, but what we are going to do is set our auto loading wagon to load cotton modules, like so. We're going to enable the auto load feature, and we're going to do a drive by, and we're going to pick it up. Okay, this is the first one. Not super realistic, I know, but uh, hey, it is what we do. You grab the second and then the third and then we'll be on our way down south. Two. 
this is a wonderful trail if you haven't seen it already uh, I have got a mod review on this this is the 51 foot auto loading trailer from our Falfa. Um my word of advice while we're talking about this trailer don't get fooled by some of these other mods that are coming out uh, someone put a Flegel trailer out on, on his mod hub US um, stating that he using our Falfa script and got the thing working it's an abomination it doesn't work um, they've taken our Falfa script and not been able to implement it properly. Um, just don't bother with it, guys. Grab the 51 foot trailer from our Falfa off uh, Nexus mods. Um, and, uh, and if you're not going to do that, then go and play with the poison that some of these uh, people are in relation to modding. Uh, might sound a bit harsh, but there's a hell of a lot of people that are just putting clickbait mods out. Um, noting that people are going to click on it they get paid for the click um, and there's nothing there or there's malware involved or whatever else be very very careful I've said it a thousand times before be careful where you get mod all right but yeah so this this trailer is a fantastic trailer um, and uh, and we love using it so uh, kudos and thanks to our Falfa for bringing it to us my good friend Frithgar uh, has been using it the last couple of uh, videos of his as well. Uh, if you haven't checked out Frithgar, go check him out. Uh, that's Frithgar, F-R-I-T-H-G-A-R. I think most of you will probably already know him. But, uh, but yeah, go check him out. He also has a new Discord too, so uh, go check his Discord out as well. And um, we'll see you over there. While I'm talking about and promoting other things, don't, of course, forget Simulation Gaming Society. It's a group uh, formed by my two great friends Jerry Grizzly Bear Sims and Eustace Farmer and myself um, we have our discord channel there and that's our community hub where we basically get to meet greet chat with everyone all that sort of stuff so the link is down below in the comments head on over there and have a check that out as well uh, and also don't forget to head on over to not only Frithgar's channel but also Eustace's and Jerry's as in Grizzly Bear Sims uh, give them a like and a subscribe and uh, don't forget to press that notification bell anyway off we go, we're continuing on with this. Enough of the promotional stuff, let's get into the farming. Now we're coming up to what I would call Coca-Cola Bend. As if it's a racetrack. Could be sometimes with the little amount of traffic. Well, the actual fact there's no traffic on this map yet. Uh, that's one of the things that Deccan Kane has sort of alluded to that he's going to try and work on is put some traffic on. So this is Coca-Cola Bend. Dilapidated Coca Cola sign there. 45 kilometer hour bend. We're doing it in a 51 foot semi trailer at 90 k's an hour. That's okay. Kids don't try this at home. Now, as much as I would probably like to stick to the speed limit, if we uh, stuck to the speed limit on this map for the entirety of this series, um, we would waste half of our time purely in transit. I mean, I'm doing 95, almost 100 k's now. I could, I could go a lot faster too, but um, doing 60 kilometers an hour would make it for a very elongated. All right, now the thing is down here at Glenvar, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember seeing a trigger point for the bales. So we're going to have to sort of have a bit of a look, see and see what we can find. Hopefully if we uh, highlight the cell point it'll show us with that nice big green column of light that it puts up just to sort of see for our first delivery so we know roughly well you know we're coming down now to uh, the cell area we're going to be peeling off here to the right we get the message that our combine is ready to unload so once we've done this we'll head on off head on off, head on up learn to speak English, let alone Australian, um, and we'll grab the overloader and offload the combine. Now, map indicates that it should be over here on this side here. So let's just have a bit of a look-see. I'm out of cab. There is no marker there, so what we'll do is we'll just go in here. There it is there. The offload point should be directly here. See how that goes. 
Alright, so we're going to offload this on our right hand side. Press Y to offload, and there we go. And for that, we got $278,787. Three, three cotton modules. Not too bad money at all. All right, let's head back north and, uh, and we'll go offload the combine harvester. Then we'll also need to check on the cotton module harvester because he should be pretty close to finishing his field as well. I can't see too far around there. Good look as that was clear though. All right. Now we haven't got a load on, we can really put the pedal to the metal. No blueies around, police. Right. Oh, 94 is the top for this one. I thought it was 120 for this one. Okay. Up we go. <clears throat> Looking forward to getting all these fields done. Um, it is, like we said, just going to be... Uh, Bit of a challenge, especially with uh, running multiple combines. At this field 12, we were going to start that, but then because we had some problems with our original starting combines, the class, I decided just to make sure I could get everything working on one field first. Not that I have any doubts about Deck and Kane, but um, I want to make sure that everything was going to work smoothly before we committed too much. Uh, and in the next, uh, the next big field or two, we'll be running a multi-combine uh, configuration in convoy mode. So uh, see how well that works. We may, what we may have to do in the interim until uh, the map gets redone with, possibly with MTA, is we may need to effectively redefine the fields uh, in course play. Um, the reason being is um, because the way Deck and Kane's actually marked out the field, um, it, it's very um, non-straight and linear in places and that's where you see the, the combine harvester, particularly in the first episode, I think it was. Uh, does a lot of left and right veering doing the header row. Um, so by recording our own course and doing it manually, um, and then setting that as the guide for that field, you better get a little bit smoother um, animation, basically, and running of it. So we have, may have to spend the time in doing that. So um, see how we go over the coming days and, and sort that out field by field but uh, that shouldn't impact our actual recording and our gameplay too much at this point in time now I'm pretty sure the road train actually is almost full as well and what I intend on doing is I'm actually going to sell these trailers our good friend Stevie from Stevie's FS Mods uh, has brought out an update to some of his mods uh, and that was including his uh, trailers ever trailers and um, I'm going to replace those ones over there with the um, crampy ones because uh, while these are nice it's a bit of a pain having to, to offload both halves of the trailer each time we go to offload so you got to do two functions for each trailer so it comes a little bit time consuming um, so as much as it might be a little bit more unrealistic, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to the uh, to the Crampies. All right, we'll jump in the New Holland, and we're going to head on over and uh, offload the ideal. There's all the uh, the swath we got to pick up. We might send a tractor around here with a windrower. And see how that goes. It might tidy it up a bit more, it might not. But um, yeah, we'll just have to see how that goes. Otherwise, we'll just follow the course of the combine and it'll just pick it all up or bail it or do whatever we want to do with it. All right. So, what should happen now, for those of you that haven't seen course play in action or anything, he's waiting to be unloaded. Now he detects that we're there. He'll uh, send out his pipe. I'm in. He'll offload. Once he's offloaded, he'll take on, take off, and continue on his merry way. And as you can see, he's got a power pole around here to, uh, to circumnavigate. So we'll actually follow it behind him and watch how well course play in FS19 deals with that. 
Um, it's not a different function to what we had before. It's exactly the same as what was in the, one of the later releases of, of course play for Farming Simulator 17. Um, it's just a matter of making sure that all the functions are working as we expect them to uh, with the high quality expectations we've had from course play in 17, which was fantastic. All right, so he's headed off. We might actually drive. There he goes. He's going off around the left-hand side, and he's dealt with that quite comfortably. So there you go. That's the pylon. So he's already gone past two pylons in that mode. So the next interesting area with that area over there, where the uh, the block of unfarmable land is um, primarily because it'll just depend on where the uh, the field definitions are uh, anyway all right what's he got in him now he's got uh, 3,000 I think what we'll do is we'll just go and offload this into the truck because I think the truck might it might basically fill the truck go and have a look see if it does So what we'll do is at the end of this episode is where we'll replace these trailers and uh, we'll replace them with the crampies. Um, we are already full. There you go. So what we can do is we can put that pipe in. Okay. And we can just take this down and ink. No, we'll just take this into the silo. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna store this. In fact, what's the price? Let's check the price first. We just want to make some profit. That's what we're all about. We're about making some money. Um, what do we have? Sorry, we had barley. Um, price is stagnant at the moment. So yeah, we'll go put in the silo. Okay. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to turn onto the field a little bit tend to want to avoid that so we don't compact especially with uh, fully laden trailers but uh, sometimes there is no avoiding it and check to our left and our right all clear well we took down the road sign I'll put that back up and in we go one day we might actually pretty up our entrance a little bit more Put a bit of an irrigation system in and, and make it so the entrance is a little bit more presentable but uh, for now it's it's practical that's all we need all right so we're going to peel off around here to the right hand side to our silo our big silo complex there calmly One in. Load the first half. This is what I was talking about before, so we've got to do both halves. So basically we haven't used these trailers before. The um the trick is what you have to do is you have to come in, you have to put the offload center, the center of the trailer in the in the offload position or over the loading po offloading point. Not one too far. Um, and then you have to unload both parts. So you unload the first part, and as you've come in, you go to uh, change your mode, change to the rear or the front, whichever one it may be with the U key and uh, offload the second half. So this time we're offloading the front half. When that finishes, we're waiting there. There's nothing to unload. We press the U key. We've got the unload function again. Then we offload the rear of the trailer. Move up, go back to the next trailer again. Offload. 
and rinse and repeat. U key and offload. And the last half. There we go. So, barley now. 201,085 litres of barley so far. And if we pull up the map, as you can see, that's only from that component of the map so far. So, um, we're probably going to get... I don't know, around a million litres, probably just a little bit short of a million litres. But we're going to have more than enough barley from uh, from this field to do us over for a while. Now, we do need to, uh, bring out what I think we're going to get caught up. There you go, close. Dust. I don't think Deck and Kane expect us to come through with a with a road train like this. <clears throat> ah, we always like. It. All right now, there's no point taking him back out there to the field because, uh, as I said, we're not going to be utilising those trailers anymore. So what we will do is we'll. Uh, Leave the truck there. We will jump back into the New Holland and we'll go and top this off. We'll then go check the uh, cotton harvest. We'll take the, the semi trailer up there with the flatbed and uh, we'll check the cotton harvest. Then from there, we will call it a episode, I think. I think I'll leave the cotton till the next episode. We'll uh, we'll call it here. So I'll just finish topping up this. We'll drive along with the uh, the combine harvester as I'm doing the final um, salutations, etc., for the video. And uh, we'll come back and we'll finalise the cotton harvest uh, in our next episode, which will be episode four. I would like to uh, say a special thank you to all our new subscribers that have come along recently. Um, thank you very much for joining. Hope you enjoy your stay and hope you enjoy the uh, the content that we're going to be putting out and we do put out. Uh, there are going to be a lot more mod reviews coming soon as well. Got to catch up with the combine now. Um, but yeah, so uh, oh, no, he stopped. Got the got him on stop. Um, so yeah, so thanks very much for joining all those new subscribers. Don't forget to come and check us out on um, Discord. As I said previously, also come and check out Simulation Gaming Society, uh, our Discord channel, and also go check out Eustace Farmers and Grizzly Bear Sims channel, uh, two of the best role-playing guys you will see in the farming simulator genre, or any videos for that matter they turn their, their talents to, uh, and they're just good blokes as well. Uh, also, don't forget to go over and check out Frithgar. Um, he's a wonderful chap. Um, I'm, I'm really enjoying my time over there with Frithgar as well, so uh, we go and check Frith out and uh, also join his Discord channel if you so choose. And also don't forget to check out all those others that I have linked down below in the comments. Alright, that's it. That's where we're going to leave it for episode 3. We are going to uh, head back into the farm now, have a bit of uh, morning tea, a bit of smoko, and uh, we'll come back out here onto the fields in episode four sometime very soon once again thanks for joining us hope you're enjoying the western australian map thanks to deck and kane for a for a great map and uh it is great now i'm looking forward to all the improvements he makes in the future and uh that's it so on behalf of myself dark sorley i would like to wish you all a wonderful morning afternoon evening or night no matter where you are in the world take care of yourselves and all your loved ones Stay safe for all those who are in uh, storm areas at the moment, whether it be uh, floods in Queensland, fires or snow storms or whatever else. Just keep safe. 
and we shall see you again very very soon back here at Dark Solar Gaming. See you all later. Bye.